Now this one's tricky when you get to it on the homework. It says, for what value of x is g of x equals 7? Okay, now in this case, what is the y? Is that your x? I'm, uh, I just gave it away. What is the 7? Is that your x or is that your y? X. Yeah. So y. It's actually your y. Okay, so in this case, they're giving you the y and they want to find the x. Okay, so the, so what, for what value of x is g of x equals 7? And then here's what it's going to say in the answer. It's going to say x equals, and you put in the answer. Okay. Maybe seven. So mm -hmm. y is here. If y is seven, it's right there. What's the x value right there? Negative four. Negative four. Negative four. That's right. Okay. So once again, it's saying that the g of x is seven. Right. That's telling me that the y part is seven. What is the x part? So if you find 7 on the y-axis, and there's only one of them, it's just right here. If you find 7 on the y-axis, you need to tell me what the x part is.